Hey guys, so today I'll be reviewing the uh, Mizuno um, Wave Stealth 3 shoes. Um, so these are, uh, you know, bright orange and navy blue. I'm not sure if it comes in any other colors, but uh, these are the ones that I have. Um, I've got to say, these are quite possibly the best uh, squash shoes uh, I have ever worn. Um, they're very stable, uh, basically the, the, the sides of them, you know, you got kind of this like hard plastic on the sides, which actually keeps it very, very stable around your ankles. So if you've ever rolled your, rolled your ankle before, or if you've had ankle problems, these shoes are perfect for you. I know there's a lot of shoes out there that, you know, uh, advertise being super lightweight and, you know, and because of that, you don't have very good padding along the sides. You know, you, you have kind of that, that mesh material all along the sides and that really doesn't provide good support for your feet. These shoes have, you know, they're, they're very well ventilated, even though there is, you know, kind of hard plastic along the sides, they're very well ventilated and, um, you know, still fairly lightweight. They're not, they're not the lightest shoes I've ever worn, but still fairly lightweight. Uh, you know, you're not going to feel them uh, while you're running around the court or anything, but I think very, very important it, uh, you know, uh, touch wood, you know, it, it prevents injuries. Uh, I I've, I feel very very uh, solid in these, and they're they're quite lightweight as well. Now one drawback to these is there's a front part to the shoe over here. As you can see, I drag my left uh, my left toe. I think a lot of squash players do. You know when you're hitting, if you're right-handed, I think a lot of times you'll drag your your left foot when you're hitting some shots. Now you can see a difference between my right shoe, which I don't drag, right. Put it like that and the left shoe that I do drag so you can see there's an area over here that gets worn out and I found this on almost all Mizuno shoes is that there's this front area here that wears out so you need to be aware of that uh, if you want to prevent that you can you know maybe put some some tape on it I know it sounds weird but you know you you might want to put some some tape that has like some tackiness to it to prevent that from happening I found this happened after about, hmm, not very long, maybe about three months, and this started wearing out over here. But you know, depending on how much you play, I play about three times a week, and, you know, about two hours each time. Uh, you know, you might be able to go a longer time uh, without it wearing out. But you know, that being said, it's not a huge deal. I mean, you know, you wear through it, and it doesn't really, I mean, my soul is still attached to my shoe, it's fine, uh, you know, if the sole comes off a bit, you know, don't don't be shy to use some super glue or something to stick it back down. But um, that is the one drawback to the shoe, I find. There's a, uh, there's a weak area in the front here made out of some sort of, you know, pretty weak plastic or rubber that wears away uh, fairly quickly, I would say. Um, I think they've put this here maybe as, I don't know, some sort of uh, tacky surface that your shoe doesn't slip if you, you know, if you drag it. You know, maybe they've done that specifically for squash players because they know that we drag, we drag our toes on some of our shots and especially when we're lunging to the front. But, you know, other than that, these shoes are, are very, very comfortable. You know, they feel very solid. Um, you know, I can't guarantee you're not gonna, you know, roll, roll your ankles in these shoes. But the, the padding on the side um, makes them very, very solid and should make them, you know, a, a fairly, um, uh, you know, durable, safe shoe to wear. All right. So hopefully this helps you guys out. And I highly recommend these shoes, uh, you know, even despite the fact that the, um, the front of it wears out a little bit. I still highly recommend these shoes. I think, uh, you know, even if you do, if you do a little bit of repairs on the front, if the if this does start bothering you or if the sole separates a little bit uh you know you can easily make these shoes last uh you know i would say up to a year personally i don't think you should use shoes longer um longer than that because i think they become worn out um and they become you know uh, the support wears out a little bit the material and then they're not uh as durable and as safe to use you know you're going to lose some of the support on the sides all right so hopefully it helps you guys out, um, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.